Jenna Productions. The IAM is a struggle. As a graduating freshman, life became tough as soon as the school year started. The hours of homework and staying up late to study for tests has taken a toll on every student's life, and you should be aware of what's coming at you. Since we're smart and have more experience than you, we've come up with five steps to help you survive. It may be hard to get used to, but applying these steps to your daily school life will save you from stress and you'll be able to live a healthy lifestyle. The steps needed to survive your freshman year at the IAM are to be prepared for the transition between middle school and high school, manage your time wisely, collaborate and be active in group projects, go outside of the box, and be open to meeting new people. Step one, be prepared for the transition between middle school to high school. The transition going from middle school to high school is a huge step, especially if that high school is the IAM. Many students can relate to not needing to study or do homework because they always get things done in school. However, coming to the IAM has been a big transition. Many students actually have to do the work that is needed, whether it is in or outside of school. This is why middle school teachers warn their students about high school and how awful and scary it is. You would have to use the ATL of thinking to transfer these skills you have learned in middle school and apply it to your high school level. Preparing yourself for the transition can involve adjusting your schedules and getting used to a new environment and workload. Using the ATL of social, you can use your collaboration skills and share the workload of the project with your group members. Each group member should get a part they are comfortable doing in each the same amount of work. This will not only save you time, but also make it fair so no one is doing all the work and no one is doing nothing. Step 3. Manage your time wisely. Like most kids in this world, we do less important things first like playing video games, binge watching Netflix, etc. At the IAM, you have to learn to limit yourself from doing these things or, if you're like me, the type of person that will be completely absorbed into their phone, try not to do it at all. This leads to procrastination, the leading cause of the school epidemic, failing. Trust me, you don't want that to happen. Your parents will disown you, your dog won't love you, and you'll be unemployed. Through the ATL of self-management, you can do your homework and the things you'd like to do without worries. You can set certain goals to finish within that day and then reward yourself. For instance, if you finish your history homework, you'll have time to go outside and enjoy the sun. Make sure you make realistic goals and that your schedule is something you can actually adapt yourself to. The IAM is for your own well-being and future, so make sure to make the best of your time here. Do your homework. 
Eight, six equals fourteen. Let's go guys. P P A P. I have a pen. I have an apple. Oh wait, um, why did you step four? Go outside the box. If you're watching this video right now, then you've already stepped pretty far out of your box. But you have to keep going further. Going outside the box can apply to many different things, but I will be telling you how to go outside the box through a creative aspect. At the IAM, being creative is advised by your teachers in order for you to reach your full potential in learning. Without creativity, it will be harder to work on homework assignments or projects, as it's one of the most important things about being a student here. The ATL of thinking with creative skills is the best way to achieve this. It can allow you to explore what you can truly do, such as linking ideas together to make something new. You should also look into considering other ways into other things to spice up your life a little. For example, instead of doing a lame presentation about five tips for freshmen, make a video about it to engage your target audience. It's all about the style and creative effort you put into whatever you're creating. Step 5. Be open to meeting new people. Meeting new people is very common coming into the IAM. Many students come to the school knowing only a few people or no one at all. This can be very difficult to those who are very shy or not open to meet new people. However, even though there's a lot of work, you of course need friends who will suffer your high school journey with you. Being open to meeting new people when coming to the IAM is very important. Using the ATL of communication, try and put yourself out there and meet new people. The IAM is a very diverse school and there is always someone that can love and accept you for who you are. Don't be afraid to communicate with others. The more you communicate, the more people you will meet and the more you get to know people who are just like you. From personal experience, people will learn to love the weird and unique side of you. Make a handshake real quick. <laughs> if you use the ATL of thinking to be prepared for the transition between middle to high school, manage your time wisely by using the ATL of self-management, Collaborate and be active in group projects using the ATL of socials. Go outside of the box using the ATL of thinking with creative skills. And lastly, be open to meeting new people using the ATL of communication. You can thrive and succeed at the IAM. So hopefully you try to attempt at least some of these steps because it can really help you out in the long run. Trust me, I've struggled with some of these and these actions that we shared with you today have really helped me i hope you guys are successful here and good luck charlie